Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving practice problem 14.4, body plot. And this is a very, very interesting question. So let's start straight away. Uh, this is the transfer function that we have to plot. And as we have uh, discussed in the previous videos as well, but first of all, we convert this into what is known as standard form. So this is the form given. And we take Z1 common. And so we get this form, which is the standard form. That is Z omega divided by some constant. And here it should be 1. So let's do that. We take common 4 from here and uh, 10 from here. So first of all, taking 4, we get 1 plus j omega 4. But this one has a square, so we have to just, uh, for your ease, um, I have explained it here. The square term, from inside, we take 10 common. It will be 1 plus j omega 10, but the square is outside. So 10 will become 100, and the square will come on this. So we'll write 100, 1 plus j omega by 10 square. And now 50 and 100, uh, 100 divided by 50 will give 2, 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. So this is the form that we'll be using for plotting. Now, we have to, first of all, write it in the form of a magnitude and phase angle. Uh, this is uh, in phase of form. So this is the magnitude part. And phase angle will be written like this, just to remind you that if the in the x plus j uh, y form, the angle is tangent inverse of y over x. So that is what we are using here. For this, the angle will be uh, tangent inverse omega over 4. And for the other one, it will be uh, 2 times, because this is a square, so we have to take 2. So 2 times tangent inverse omega over 10. Okay, now let's convert this, the magnitude part, first of all, uh, the magnitude will be converted into dB. So we multiply by 20 log, everything multiplied by 20 log. So this will be 20 log j omega. Then we come down bottom, and for the bottom terms, we have to add negative sign. So negative 20 log 8, negative 20 log this term, and negative 40 log because of the square it will be 2 times 20, that is 40 log this term. Okay, and the phase angle will remain the same. Now, let's take a graph paper, logarithmic graph paper. The horizontal axis is log scale, and the vertical scale, uh, vertical axis is normal scale, so like 20, 40, minus 20, minus 40. But this is very interesting. You have to keep look here. If you start from lesser point 1, then this will be 10 times that. That is 1. This is 1. So the, this end point will be 10 times. So it is 10. And similarly, 10 times this one is 100. So this we have to keep in mind. Now the first thing we're going to plot is this term the 20 log j omega, and we have learned from the book that any term with j omega will pass through 1. Omega is equal to 1. Now, since this is positive term, so it will have a positive slope going up. So let's plot this. First of all, this is our 1, and it is 20 dB per decade. That means from 1, if we go 1 decade, that means 10, then up we will go 20 dB. So our plot will look like this. From here, we went 20 dB up, and similarly, we extend this line back. So this is our first plot. 
then our constant term 20 log 8 now 20 log 8 if you uh, use your calculator the value comes to be negative 18 db this is negative so 20 log 8 is 18 and since it is negative so we'll write it negative 18 db now this line is 20 db so slightly up uh, will be negative 18 db because each division is uh, 4 dbs so half of the lowest division and so this line is a constant line so this is 20 log 8 we have plot now we come to uh, the third term and the third term is now negative sign going slow going down but again uh, 20 db per decade and it will start from p now this is p whatever is dividing in our case p is 4 so this is the point from where the slope will start and before this point which is known as the uh, corner frequency or, or uh, and from before this will be getting zero so our case four is somewhere this is one two three four this point is four so from here we'll plot so let's see okay so this point is four before four it will be a zero line and after four it will be 10 dv down so from four to 40 is 10 dv and up to this point is 20 so we'll connect this with the 20 line so this is our uh, negative 20 log 1 plus j omega 4. now finally we have this term left okay so we were up to this point now negative 40 means the slope will be double slope will be 40 how do we plot this you can see that this was the uh, case when there is a square term and we are just uh, it is one in this case so it will be 40 db down and it will start from 10 so this is point is our 10 from here before this will be zero and from here uh, we'll have 40 db down so let's see okay so before this it is zero and then 40 db down how do you plot this okay so we are at this point 10 so from 10 to 100 is uh, 10 db uh, decade and then we have to go down 40 db so this is 40 minus 20 and minus 40 so so this point and we'll connect these two points so this will be our last graph okay so we have drawn the graph now we'll uh, to get final answer we'll do addition so let's see uh, if we start from this corner what all we have this is zero no problem uh, this is negative 18 and this curve is going up so what is the starting point negative 20 negative 18 so our starting point will be negative 38 from here because adding these two we come to negative 38 and then the slope will remain same 20 db per decade so let's see so we draw a line from here and this line is 20 db per decade so from any point you can consider let's say from here to here is 10 db and this is 2 db up so from here also 2 db up so this point we connect and then we extend all the way so this is our uh, line which we will now mark okay now we we were up to this point but the question is how far will we go we go till the next change so this condition will change at it at this point so up to this point we'll have a straight line let's mark it with the bold so we have marked it with bold so this is uh, 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 the first part now what is happening after this you can see this slope is 20 db going up 
and this slope 20 degree going down so up and down will cancel that means this line will flatten will remain a straight line uh, uh, here at this point okay so straight line we have decided that it will be up to the up uh, from here it will be straight line but up to which point now this is another change now so up to this point we'll have a straight line so up to this point we drew a straight line and now what is happening these two already cancelled up and down now we have a 40 degree slope going down from this point so we have to draw a parallel line to this line so we were here and we now drew a parallel line with the 40 db line so this is our uh, final answer of the magnitude and the book also has a similar answer it is slightly more detailed but exactly same answer okay so this was the magnitude plot now let's come to uh, phase plot which is slightly trickier okay so these values we have to plot the x-axis remains same the y-axis is now in terms of degrees so the first is positive 90 degree and then uh, let me just plot the positive 90 degree okay this positive 90 degree we have plotted zero we no need of plotting now we come on to this one now this one as we have seen from here or here if it is a negative sign that means we'll follow this so it will come down now the important point to note is mark the corner frequency now in our case corner frequency is four so two three four this is four then we have to go one tenth of four that means 0.4 and uh, on the other side we have to go 10 times of four that is 40. between these will be slow before this will be zero line and after this will be 90 degree line so let's see how we can plot here okay so this is 0.4 before 0.4 it will be zero line after 40 it will be negative 90 degree line and then we just connect these two points to get this slope now this slope is how much it is two decades from here 0.4 to 4 one decade 4 to 40 two decades so within two decades it has fallen down 90 degree so we'll call it the slope is 90 degree per double decade or in some book they just divide it by two and they call it 45 degree per decade so it's the same thing so we have plotted this part now the second one is because of the two it will be uh, double so let's see it will the slope will now be double and it will be 180 degree per double decade so how to plot this we were up to this point our corner frequency is 10 so this is the corner frequency 10 times that will be uh, 100 and divided by 10 will be 1 so these are the points we have to keep in mind while plotting okay so from 1 before 1 it will be 0 and after 100 it will be now 180 degrees not 90 degrees because of the double uh, or the square so this will be minus 180 and then we connect these two points so this is the last uh, phase plot okay so we have uh, we were up to this point and now we need to add to find the final answer okay now if you look up to this point there is no change it's a zero 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 so we'll just draw a bold red line okay so we have drawn a, a bold red line up to this point but after this there will be change now this slope is going down 
So we'll follow a going down slope and this is what uh, uh, this is 90 degree per double uh, um, or dec double decade. So we, we draw a thin line just to know the path but up to what point it will move. Now you can see this line is going, but there is a change at this point at one. So at one, it has to change. So our line will be bold up to this point. So the line is bold up to this point. Okay, and now we are here. So let's go to the next slide. So we were here. And now what is happening? Look at this area. We have a 180 degree slope and we have 90 degree slope. So the total slope in this area will be minus 270. So how do we plot minus 270? Okay, so from this point, we go to the double uh, decade. So one decade, two decade. And from here, we have to go to 270 degree down. So 270, you can see this about just one division down, but 90, 90, 90, so 270, and one division down here to so this point. So we connect these two points, and this is our 270 flow, 270 per double decade. I hope you can follow this point. This is slightly critical. We're starting from here and we have to go to 270. So it will be up to this line. Now, up to which point will this be marked red? So where is the change? If you can see, this is the change point. So we were here and then this is the change point. So we have to keep in mind, we extend this line up to this point. Okay, so we extended line up to this point, And then what is happening? Now this has flattened, so only this slope is there. So this line will now follow uh, uh, this chocolate color uh, line. And so, and it will go up to this point where it is also flattening. So our plot will now be like this, just up here it is changing to chocolate line. So we were here and now everything is flattening, so it will flatten to 180 degrees. So this is flattening to 180 degrees. So this is our final answer. The book also has a similar answer, but I have a doubt there is a mistake, I think, in the answer, which is this point. Look at this point where they are changing the slope. Now, our, our slope is changing at 40 point. The book answer is changing it in somewhere between around 30, maybe. So, I think it is wrong, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. So, if you can find the uh, reason why it is like this in the book, please let me know. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.